in the very complex world that we live in, the very dynamic world that we live in with, with changing uh, operating environments and with growing and serious healthcare needs around the world and very diverse needs, uh, we have to have a business that's very responsive to the very different conditions uh, that uh, different marketplaces present. And we have to be agile enough and responsive enough to, to meet those different needs, regardless of where in the world they are. And we now have the chance of a lifetime to do that by bringing our companies together and not only working in some space, but working across a lot of spaces. We're going to have a multitude of approaches, a number of different targets we can work on, a number of different modalities. We'll have small molecules, we'll have vaccines, We'll have biopharmaceuticals. We're going to have a toolbox that I think is second to none. There's virtually every aspect of human health care with the combined companies that we're going to hit. There is not a place in the world that I'm aware of where this level of skill, scientific skill, medical skill, and financial capability comes together that can really attack things like Alzheimer, can attack things like cancer. It gives us a great opportunity to sort of press the reset button and really come forward with whether it's commitments, whether it's um, our ability to refocus uh, people from just seeing us as a pharmaceutical company to something much bigger than that. And as you can imagine, uh, the ability of the combined company to really do anything and everything that it really wants to do uh, to improve the health of people worldwide is uh, going to be absolutely extraordinary. It's not all about size. You know, size is important because it gives you the geographic reach around the world and, and the ability to serve more customers uh, uh, with a broader uh, portfolio of offerings. Uh, but it's about uh, the, the people that come with that. And, and when you think about the people involved, the values it seems to me that Pfizer has and built over time, the values that you experience in your interactions with the people from Wyeth, they're very, they're, they're very similar. Those values are the ones that I think will make us an, an even greater organization. We'll bring the best people, the best products, the best pipeline, the best capabilities together under one tremendous organization. I do see the new company coming together as kind of uh, the catalyst for people even thinking more boldly and more creatively than they ever have before. The magic of what happens at Pfizer is you bring all those people together and they all have the things that they're great at, but when you put them together in a team, and they collaborate together effectively, you get this unbelievable output that you could never get with any one of them alone. The most innovative and exciting thing about Pfizer is the science that we do that's designed to improve people's lives and help patients. I would like us not only to be seen and recognized as the number one biopharmaceutical company, but as the number one leader in science and innovation that translates into improving health. We're in the enviable position of trying to develop drugs for devastating diseases that affect many of our friends and families. Um, and I think it's probably one of the most rewarding jobs one could ever imagine doing. Having small molecules and large molecules in the portfolio, the ability to discover and develop drugs um, in both of those spaces gives you a different tool chest, if you would from which to target diseases. Innovation allows us to get medicines that we believe will make a difference in people's lives sooner out onto the market. Here we are, you know, on day one, we're really going to be covering the spectrum of oncology. I mean, that's so exciting to be able to do that essentially overnight. In a 10-year time span, I would like to look at the portfolio that we've put into the marketplace and we're developing and have a feeling that we're really cracking some of the major problems. It's important for us to think of ourselves not just as producers of new medicines and products for people, but to think of ourselves more as producers of solutions for healthcare problems. We need to create different ways of uh, delivering value to our customers, value to our colleagues, and uh, value to our shareholders. We're trying to move from purely delivering a pill to providing a solution. We're mothers, we're fathers, we're daughters, we're sons, you know, we're grandparents. And 
It's important to be able to meet the needs across your lifespan, and I really think the new combined company has such an exciting opportunity to build a deeper relationship with its patients by meeting all their needs. What's interesting now is you have a company that deals in prevention through our vaccine business, deals in self-care through consumer products, and then ultimately through treatment. So whether it's in human health or animal health, the sense of uh, really making a difference, impacting the lives of patients is a really major calling. Well, it's finding the right drug for the right patient in the right setting. It's a total life company, total health company. So that when people think healthcare, they think us. One of the things that we're looking for from an innovation perspective is how to take ideas that colleagues present to us or groups of colleagues present to us and think about ways in which we can build new businesses for the company going forward. Part of what we need to do sometimes is just connect people. It doesn't cost a lot, um, but I think it's not always about money. I think it's also about using our brain power and finding where solutions lie for some of the problems that our customers are having. In emerging markets, we have several initiatives that we're trying to get to the next billion patients. We're experimenting to understand how is healthcare delivered in India or China, and how can we get to those, those, those patients that today are outside of what I would call the traditional healthcare system. When we are uh, socially responsible, we can be commercially viable, and we can provide access to medicine to a very large part of the global population and at the same time serve patients, be profitable and grow our revenues and our business. What we do transcends geography. We can do that for people everywhere in the world every day. We really are going to have the capacity to uh, do so much for so many. To be able to really be a meaningful contributor in that space and really try to figure out and tackle some of these uh, incredibly difficult challenges that we face um, has required real innovation. Customers are also demanding more from us. So we can either be part of the solution or we, can, we are going to miss out on opportunities. And I think that Pfizer has shown by its many actions that we are willing to take on that challenge. And that's why we have created business units that, that have a great deal of independence and authority to meet those needs in very different ways. Moving to that model broke down barriers. It broke down barriers from development to commercialization. It broke down barriers within countries and across countries. And you start realizing that there's so many more connections that we might not have paid attention to. Uh, we can go at our customers with more breadth, more diversity, uh, more disease states. It just makes us more, much more of a, of a valued partner with our customers. What we've seen is in those smaller units, uh, teams coming up with innovative ideas and not just, not just handing them off to somebody, but actually with the ability to come up with the idea and to do it. Now we are talking much earlier jointly and then we are developing a joint concept that we all believe in and, and that's kind of collaboration that works. Now we can contemplate areas of value creation for Pfizer that I couldn't have even dreamed about um, you know, six, seven months ago. I have always felt kind of um, very gratified by the fact that I work in an industry that, that brings solutions to healthcare problems and helps people feel better and perform better and live longer. Uh, sometimes it sounds a little corny, but I, I think it's just a terrific industry to work in. The combination of the two companies give us a better opportunity to uh, uh, tell the world uh, what, uh, what we do, the nobility of the work. The number of healthcare cha challenges facing every nation that we're in are staggering. You know, balancing the budget, figuring out a way to fund um, the uninsured, figuring out a way to make care more accessible. The, the gnarly, difficult questions about healthcare improvement and healthcare delivery are the things that matter deeply to me. And so what makes me proud is I work inside of a company that cares about that. We've centered our strategy around patients. And the patient doesn't care where the medicine comes from. They just care that it's effective, they care that it's safe, and they're counting on it to be there when they need it there. So we play a big role in that. We don't make widgets. Um, we make products that help people. And I think the people that work here feel that. They feel very much attached to that mission, that it, it's important to us. And, and what's particularly thrilling to me is the number of really talented people from both Wyeth and Pfizer who have come together at all levels of the organization to advance that mission.